Suppose I tell you that somebody is driving at 60 miles per hour, a constant speed. Let's say they're driving at a constant speed of 60 miles per hour. Well, we can see that miles per hour is a ratio unit. So we should be able to use the skills that we've just learned to interpret this information. So how do we interpret a constant speed of 60 miles per hour? Let's use the skills that we've talked about. The first thing we need to do is combine the number and the unit into a single ratio. We need to combine the number and the unit into a single ratio. Well, we've seen we can do that by just writing it like this. And we've seen that even though mathematically it's not necessary to put the one on the bottom, it actually really helps our understanding to always put the number one on the bottom of a ratio unit. And now we can interpret what a constant speed of 60 miles per hour means. What it means is if this person drives for one hour, they're gonna go 60 miles. If this person drives for one hour, they will drive for 60 miles. That's the meaning of uh, this ratio unit. So let's think about another situation. Let's say we have somebody who's driving at a speed of 25 miles per hour. How would we interpret that? Again, we combine the number with the unit into a single ratio. We put the number one on the bottom. If someone's driving at 25 miles per hour, what that really means um, is that in one hour, they would cover 25 miles. If they drove for one hour, they would cover 25 miles. Now notice how hypothetical this is. If I tell you that somebody is driving at 25 miles per hour, does that mean that they're really gonna drive for one hour? Absolutely not. Uh, they might be driving for just five minutes, or they could be driving for five hours. We have no idea. Just like prices give us hypothetical information, this gives us hypothetical information too. We've already discussed how ratio units give us hypothetical information. But we've seen that just because it's hypothetical doesn't mean it's not useful. Um, knowing that in one hour you're going to drive 25 miles is really very useful, even if, you're only uh, even if you're only driving for half an hour. If we know how far you could get in one hour, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out how far you could get in half an hour or two hours. Let's discuss how you can interpret some other concepts that have ratio units. I'm going to run through a whole bunch of concepts now from physics and chemistry. Now, if, you're, if you are early in your physics or chemistry course, you probably have heard a few or none of these, uh, but don't panic. What I'm going to try to show you is that even if you've never heard of these concepts before, now that we understand the idea of ratio units, you actually already can have an, under, uh, have an understanding of these concepts, even if they haven't been covered in your course. On the other hand, there could be some of you watching this video who have already gotten um, a fair way into their physics and chemistry course, and then um, you are going to see a bunch of video. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of concepts now that you have encountered in your course. But I hope that now that you're thinking of them in terms of ratio units, those concepts might start to make more sense to you. Let's think about a light bulb that has a power of 60 watts. A light bulb with a power of 60 watts. Of course, you probably have a lot of these at home. This is a very common everyday thing to have a light bulb with a power of 60 watts. Now, at first, this doesn't look like a ratio unit, um, but it turns out that watts are joules per second. So this is really Now, let me uh, give you a little help here if you're just at the very beginning of your course. If you're at the beginning of, the beginning of your course, you might not know that joules are a unit for energy. Uh, but I hope that everybody knows that seconds are a unit for time. Okay, now that I've given you that information, you should now be able to interpret the 60 joules per second. What does that tell you about your light bulb? Maybe pause the video and give that a, a few seconds of thought. What does it mean? to have a light bulb that has a power of 60 joules per second. Well, remember our technique, which is to combine the, the number and the units into a single ratio. And to put the number one on the bottom. So what does it mean to have a 60 watt bulb? It means that if you run your bulb for one second, it will consume 60 joules of energy. 
That's what 60 watt light bulb means. It means that if you run your bulb for one second, it will consume 60 joules of energy. Or putting it another way, if you run your bulb for one second, you're going to have to pay the energy company for 60 joules of energy. And obviously we're seeing how hypothetical this is. Does that mean that you are, you are definitely going to run your light bulb for exactly one second? Well, obviously not. Um, almost always you're going to run it for a lot more. Uh, but also let me point out that it's possible that you're not going to run the light bulb at all. It's possible that you might run it for zero seconds and then it won't cost you any energy. So just because we give you a unit ratio doesn't mean um, that we're actually going to have uh, any time. Uh, uh, it doesn't mean that we're actually going to use this um, device at all. It just means that if we used it for one second, it would use 60 joules of energy. It's possible that we're going to use it for 30 seconds or 30 hours or maybe for no time at all. So suppose you have a 100 watt light bulb. Try pausing the video and articulating to yourself, what does it mean if a light bulb is 100 watts? Well, we've learned that watts are joules per second. Then we can combine the number in the units into a single ratio. So a 100 watt light bulb means that if you run the bulb for one second, it will use up 100 joules of energy. That doesn't mean you're actually using it for one second, but if you did use it for one second, it would use 100 joules of energy. That's the meaning of a 100 watt light bulb.